It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to the NBA playoffs in this critical game four of the opening round here on 2K Sports, along with the Jet and the Diesel, Ernie Johnson. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Detroit Pistons at Little Caesars Arena. And guys, for the Pistons, game three, a bitter loss. These home fans hoping they can rally back and provide something to cheer about this time around. Crucial point in this series. They're a game down, two to one. Kenny, what do you expect to see here tonight? Hold on one second. One, two, you know what I'm doing? No. Putting my earplugs in, because this crowd is going to be deafening, and I do not afford to lose my hearing on this one. So, yeah, Zach, it's they, on you. They've had some. Zach, I can't hear you. They've, oh, had, some, they've had some early hiccups in this series. Uh, this is their chance to make, make it right. It's gut check time, Ernie. For, for them or for you? No, my gut's all right. Just got the hiccups. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. The first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Bucks have set the tone of the series up two games to one. Can they maintain their composure and take a commending 3-1 lead? Now, the test awaits as they face off against the Pistons. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Welcome, maybe the best day of the NBA, Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. The Detroit Pistons preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle. So the Bucks win the tip. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are your small and power forwards. Bledsoe is out there with Brogdon. And it's Lopez in at the center. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. And so it begins taking control right up front. Well, I like the effort. It always feels good to get on the board first. Now here is Robinson. Pass to Griffin. Here's Kennard. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Amazing awareness. He's committed to keeping his eyes up and teammates involved. That, that, that's the type of player Griffin is. Here's onto Takumbo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Milwaukee shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Jackson with it. From downtown. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Here's Kennard. Sinks the three-pointer. Kennard's got five. Oh, and when there's an open man, Jackson finds him, making it look very easy. 
to the middle. Here's Middleton, and he goes in for the dunk. Now that was a sensational feed. He hit him right on the move. For Detroit, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Wow, Drummond leaving the floor so quickly. The chemistry he has with his teammates on these alley-oops is very impressive. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Pistons have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Back to Robinson. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Okay. Four for five from the floor right now. Wasting no time getting this offense rolling. The Pistons shooting their first free throw of the night here. And that one misses. Well, perhaps the most physically dominant player in the league, Andre Drummond. This combination of size, strength, and speed is unmatched. Now here's Bledsoe. Kicks to Middleton. Three-pointer. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Middleton's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, he's got some pep in his stuff tonight. I wonder what he had to eat last night. I mean, very solid first quarter for him at the offensive end. Passes it to Kennard. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Milwaukee has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Jackson against Bloodsoe. And it's sent back by Drummond. And Drummond, a fearsome defensive presence. I mean, he can put you on your heels. Shot clock at three, and Hatatakumbo gets it to go. Oh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Detroit Pistons. Trailing by two, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. Outside Griffin. Here's Kennard. He's guarded by Brogdon. Six to shoot. And there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That is his first foul of the game. So it's the Pistons now. On the wing, Jackson, guarded by Bledsoe. For Milwaukee, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got three assists now in this one. We'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. What's the news, David? As for the mood of this team, knowing they could go down 1-3 in the series tonight, he said, we're trying to stay loose, but not too loose. We don't want to be careless. It's a fine line between the two. He said this would be a statement game for them, Kevin. We'll see if they deliver. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Here's Antetokounmpo, following the score by Reggie Jackson. Inside. No good from Bledsoe. The Pistons trailing. Here's Kennard. He has five. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And no good that time. A highlight reel play all the way just can't connect. Well, a good attempt to try to finish that alley-oop still, though. Still should have went for something better than that, though. Bledsoe looking around. Six to shoot. And to Takumbo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. The Bucks have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two.
and gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. John Lure. He's checked in for Blake Griffin. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Pistons trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Jackson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. The D has to do better. You just can't whack Jackson on these type of shots. For Detroit, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. First free throw is good. Oh, and Jackson is not just a terrific shooter, but a fantastic defender as well, using his great speed on both ends. He's perfect from the line this time. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Wants to get it to Anadokounmpo and does. Shoot from 12. The shot, no good. And Detroit the other way now. They lost their last game on Tuesday. And their defense practically non-existent in that one. Just gave up far too many easy shots. Well, their opponents ran some pretty good sets, too. I mean, let's be honest. Great is nice open looks. Now here's Middleton. Seven points in the game. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Oh, Kev, he put some anger <laughs> behind that one. You're telling me. Timeout, timeout. And now the first timeout called here for Detroit. against Anadokounmpo. Jackson finds Drummond. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Now here's Anadokounmpo. He's got 10. And it's in there. Only so much you can do. Sometimes guarding Lopez inside is an impossible task. Pistons trail by four. Now the pass to Lure. Back to Jackson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. First free throw is good. Miritich is checked in for Brooke Lopez. He's off on the second. Bucks leading by three. 
Middleton outside. He kicks the blood cell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Detroit. And then for Milwaukee. Gasol comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Brogdon. He hits both from the stripe. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Detroit Pistons. It's a five-point game. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, come on. How great is Jackson at earning these calls, especially from the interior where he is very crafty. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Free throw. The first one falls. Detroit making a switch here. Pachulia's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Connaughton's checked in. Jackson hits both of them. Bucks leading by three. Kumbo kicks to Hill, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Bucks have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Is Smith, he's checked in for Jackson. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Smith. Lays it up off the glass. Smith's got his first points of the night. The cleverness of Smith showing itself once again. Terrific at getting into the heart of the D and then cashing in. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Smith. Over Hill. And it's Smith missing. I like the shot selection on that one, despite the miss. And the basket by Hill. And the Bucks lead by four. Just a terrific athlete, George Hill, showing the body control there to go chest to chest to finish. Smith scanning the floor. Lure up top. He's guarded by Hill. Shot clock at six, and it's Smith penetrating over Hill. Nice shot by Smith. Well, that's just the nice handles of Smith. Truly a pleasure to watch him go to work with his dribble moves. For Milwaukee, they've gotten eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Yeah, the defender all over. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Two 
shot, gentlemen. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. Robinson's checked in for Detroit. Oh, free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Pistons trail by four. Now Smith. Pass to Ellington. Smith dishes to Robinson. Over in the corner. Lure. And the three off target. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Smith against Hill. Kicks to Miritich, wants to get it to Anadokounmpo, and does. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. He's not easing his way into this game. He's coming out hot. Four for five right out the gate. Smith, the pass to Lure. Back to Smith. Now the dish to Lure. On the wing, Ellington. Passes to Lure. Six on the shot clock. Smith for three. Gasol with the rebound. Milwaukee leading by six. Outside Hill. That's good from Gasol on the assist by Hill. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Pistons. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Ellington. Defense is right there. Robinson against Zana de Kumbo. They grab their own miss. And Lure wide open. He shoots it. Off target from the wing. I'm sure he'd say to himself, no excuse for missing that shot, even when it's such a clean look. Hill, no good. Pistons trail by eight. On the wing, Ellington. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. To the inside. Here's onto Takumbo. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And, well, Detroit shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. Smith up top. He's guarded by Hill. Pistons keep it alive. Pachulia, no luck. Oh, no. Sloppy finish. The D was giving him the layup. He just didn't stay with it. Yeah, pounding it inside once again. They have taken over this game physically. Right off the opening tip, they've been relentless. And this style of play can be hard to come back against. Here is Robinson following the basket by George Hill. Out to the wing. Here's Lure. Releases from the wing and drills it. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. Here's Connaughton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Anadokounmpo finds Miritich. Back to Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at five. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. Now, here's Ellington. He's guarded close. Back to Lure. Three-pointer on the way. It's good from long range. Lure's got five points so far. Milwaukee leading by seven. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Right side hill. Six to shoot. That one falls. 
Six points for him. And a terrific percentage here in the first half. You, you got to love their rhythm and the flow with which they're playing. Well, it's the shot selection. That's been a positive for them thus far and a negative for their opponent. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. And pronouncing Giannis Antetokounmpo's name correctly has been a challenge for many. Something he discussed before today's game. The worst I've ever heard was my rookie year. A guy called me Antetokounmpo. And Kunupi in Greek means uh, mosquito. So he basically said uh, anti-mosquito. And the mosquito, definitely not a good comparison for Giannis. Yeah, more like a condor. You know, but that last name certainly has a lot of people looking for nickname. Welcome back to game four as we get back into the action. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, right. Only the first quarter. Don't over panic, but it seems like their strategy is working. We'll see if the other side can count. Griffin is out there with Robinson. And it's Smith. Then there's Wayne Ellington. And it's Pachulia in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. Now here's Ellington. George Hill missing his last shot. Pachulia with it. Gasol covering. Smith for three. The rebound by the Bucks. They've led by as much as 10. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. And always looking for the high percentage bucket. Hill got that one right to the rim. Now here is Smith. Pass to Ellington. Griffin kicks to Smith. Now the pass to Ellington. Robinson down low. Clearly a foul. For Detroit, they have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. First one falls for him. Andre Drummond's checked in for the Pistons. Reggie Jackson comes in for Smith and then for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Gasol. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Hill. Robinson hits them both. Here's Bledsoe. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Pistons trailed by seven. Inside. And it's Drummond with the jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sen <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Here's Snell. The shot by Bloodzoe. Nobody around. And the three off target. Now, here's Ellington. He's guarded by Brogdon. Outside, Robinson. Clearly a foul. Shot, gentlemen. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting free throw. And he makes the first. 
And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. That one is no good. And so it's Budso with it, bringing it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by four. Here's Snell, guarded by Robinson. From 13, and that one goes long. The Pistons have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Now the feed to Griffin. Excellent D there from Miritich. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And a great assist by Blunso as that one goes in. Blunso's got four assists now tonight. Jackson kicks to Robinson. Lopez against Drummond. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Brogdon. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. And now it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. Jackson against Bloodsoe. Now here's Griffin. Guarded closer. Back to Jackson. Five to shoot. Shoots the three, drains it from beyond the arc. Jackson's got 10. Jackson has improved his three-point stroke. He can't be left alone from outside. Jackson against Bledsoe. Here's Miritich. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Bucs have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. The Pistons making a change here. Kennard's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Middleton's checked in. And so Miritich nails both of them. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Here's Griffin. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. Milwaukee leading by five. Bloodso outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Not a problem. First turnover of the game. But, but overall, I like how they're taking care of the basketball. Paul Gasol is checked in for Milwaukee. For Detroit, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Ellington, the pass to Jackson. Back to Ellington. Kennard kicks to Drummond. And Miritic sends it back. And he recovers it. And the shot is good. The Bucks' lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Drummond. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now here's Bledsoe. Takes the three. Rebound, Detroit. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold street, he can give you what you need. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. <laughs> 
Two shots. That free throw good from Brogdon. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Pistons trail by five. Jackson kicks to Drummond. Back to Jackson. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Griffin's got three assists tonight. And so it's Budso with it. Hanging it up for Milwaukee. They've led by as much as ten. Pass to Middleton. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. On the free throw, no good. For Detroit, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Here's Ellington. Milwaukee with the rebound. Miritich has got four rebounds in this game. To the paint, pulls up. Here's Gasol. A shot missing. Good D by Drummond. Pistons trailed by five. Jackson looking it over. He kicks it to Drummond. Over Gasol. The shot comes out. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Now here's Brogdon. Back to Bledsoe. 18 feet away and he knocks it down. And the Bucks lead by seven. Detroit's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Pistons passing it around. Here's Griffin. Off target from outside. Bucks have gone five of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Pass to Middleton. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. So for the Pistons, Lures checked in for Griffin. And Smith subbed in for Wayne Ellington. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Miritich. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to dehydrate. And it's Drummond with the jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Now here's Bloodso. Back to Antetokounmpo. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Pistons trail by 10. Outside Jackson. Lure up top. He's guarded by Brogdon. Lock at six. Smith finds Drummond. Over Gasol and Andre Drummond. The bucket on the assist by Smith. Drummond's got eight here in the quarter. 
How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Uh, off target with what's what? Pretty good look from mid-range. Jackson in the corner. Sinks the three-pointer. Jackson's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Pistons. Oh, the catch-and-shoot J is lethal when used correctly. Easy to see why Jackson likes it so much. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Detroit's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. They get it again. Here's Kennard. He's got five. Smith for three. Drills it from outside. Now just a two-point Bucks lead. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Exploiting the opposing defense in the paint here. That They've set up shot down in there this second quarter, and boy, are they cashing in. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Pachulia, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. One shot, gentlemen. Pistons trail by five. Jackson kicks to Kennard. Misses the three. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Outside, out of the Kumbo, to the paint, Middleton. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now, here is Smith. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Lure. Smith finds Lure. His three-pointers off the mark. Bucks leading by seven. Down low, here's Bledsoe, and it's Lure with the rebound. Lure's got four rebounds in this game. He keeps battling, but so far this quarter, he hasn't been able to get it going. Here's Smith. There's the pass to Kennard. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. <laughs> if you let him get that deep, this is what you can expect. Yeah, well, with his toughness and skills in there, it's a rough problem to fix. Now here's Middleton. He's got 14. Uses both hands to slam it down. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Outside Jackson. Knocks down the three ball. Jackson's got 18 points. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got seven. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist from Adedekumbo. Adedekumbo's got four assists in the game. Jackson kicks to Smith. No good from outside. Bucks leading by six. Now the Bucks moving it up. Hill leading the charge. And Hill, very comfortable in the open floor. He, he can go. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Jackson against Hill. Smith right side over Bledsoe. Gasol with the rebound. Shot and game clock separated by five. Takes the 13-footer. Rebound by the Pistons. And here's Smith. He's got nine. Outside Jackson. For three. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the styles, grabbing the rebound now, trying to push it, trying to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. Well, for the Bucks, they've put in a great performance so far in game four. The importance of this game and their effort have been very apparent. And if they're able to put another good half of basketball in and take a three games to one lead tonight, they'd be in a nearly unstoppable position to take the series. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Well, a specific thing that impresses me about Giannis, the ground he covers in just a couple of steps, uses his length and speed to get up and down the floor, get to the rim. Very difficult for anyone to keep up with him as we saw in the first half. I don't believe this guy's a seven foot point guard. Over to Kenny, what do you think about Detroit? Well, I think they could be way more physical than they have been in the first half. Their defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Yeah, and sometimes you find yourself in a role you're not comfortable with, but his passing in the first half really was impressive. Yeah, and some of it is based on how the defense is playing you. He didn't force things. Instead, he rewarded his teammates. And we're back to the action here in this round one matchup. Pistons trail by eight and on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Middleton and Giannis are your small and power forwards. Brogdon out there at Bloodson and it's Gasol and at the five roaming the paint. Pass to Middleton. Leaps for it and so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Milwaukee making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. The Piston shooting here, about 46% for the game. Jackson kicks to Griffin. Jackson against Bledsoe. Unloads from 13. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing, defended by Griffin. Wow. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. That's good from out of the Kumbo. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Pistons trail by nine. Robinson for three. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got six assists here tonight. Oh, I love to see how Jackson runs the offense, keeping his eyes moving so he can set up his guys with the pass. Now, here's Brogdon. Middleton for three. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Uh, okay. We got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusted. Griffin's shot is off. Having a little bit of trouble at the start of the half. Only one for four from the field. 
Now, here's Brogdon. D right on him. Lopez outside. A three-pointer, no good. Bobbed up there for Drummond. An emphatic LU jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Now Jackson. After Chris Middleton missed from long range. Griffin kicks to Drummond. The Pistons working the ball around now. And Drummond throws it down. And the anticipation of Drummond is just remarkable. Seeing a gaping hole in the D and sending a message with the forceful throwdown. Passes it to Lopez. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. A different look for Milwaukee. Miritich is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Tony Snell subbed in for Chris Middleton. Pistons trail by five. Kennard kicks to Jackson. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Takes the 13-footer. Milwaukee with the rebound. And Bledsoe, here we go. Rodged in the pass to Bledsoe. Now Miritich, guarded by Jackson. Pass to Bledsoe. Down to five on the shot clock. Good D by Drummond. Even that close to the bucket. That's a very tough finish in that kind of traffic. Here's Kennard. The rebound by Brogdon. Milwaukee leading by five. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And that one, good. Brogdon's got his second basket of the night. Oh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. Left side, Griffin. Second chance shot. He lays it in. The athleticism of Griffin. Just remarkable. He's fantastic at using his elevation on the glass. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, just hitting the reset button. A chance to kind of talk some things over. And the chance to draw up a great play. I mean, this is a chess match at work. Wayne Ellington's checked in for the Pistons. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. The Bucks have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Now, here's Brogdon. Ellington defending. 14 feet away. Off the left rim and out. Well, he gets the shot he was looking for and he just can't bury. Robinson finds Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Back to Griffin. Drummond trying to get himself free. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Griffin. Milwaukee has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Now, here's Brogdon. Tight defense on him. With the teardrop out of bounds, Detroit takes possession. Well, the defense had nothing to do with that turnover. They're just fortunate. That's just plain sloppy passing. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's Jackson. Drummond trying to get himself free. It's not going to go for him. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. Pistons trail by three. Outside Robinson. Outside for Jackson. Robinson down low. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Pistons have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11.
shooting two. And he can't get the first one. Detroit making a switch here. Smith has checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Hill, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. And he sinks the second. Milwaukee in the lead. Hill deciding where to go with it. Here's Snell. Robinson with the block. They retain possession. Hill against Smith. The drive by Hill. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Milwaukee has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Connaughton shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. Pachulia, he's checked in for Drummond. And he can't hit the second. A little bit shaky at the line there. I mean, he did the important part and got him in front. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Hill kicks to Meritage. Misses the three. The Pistons have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Now the pass to Ellington. Back to Smith. Now here's Ellington. He's guarded by Hill. Outside, Robinson picked away. Here's Snell, guarded by Robinson. Snell, the pass to Miritich. Lopez with the ball. Shot clock at six. From the arc. Rebound, Detroit. Griffin's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now, here's Ellington. He's covered closely for the lead. A miss that time would have put him up. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Wants to get it to Robinson and us. Good on the shot. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Hill against Smith. Pass to Lopez. Kicks to Snell. Back to Lopez. Lopez with another miss. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Up. And that one, good. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Bucks trail by three. Outside Hill. Takes the 13-footer. The shot misses. And it's Detroit the other way. Inside. Here's Smith. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Now here's Lopez. 
Pass to Connaughton. Hill left side. And he banks in the layup. Hill's got 12 in the game. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Smith kicks to Pachulia. He dishes it to Griffin. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Nikola Miritich. Wow, the mobility of the veteran forward. I mean, so impressive. I mean, Griffin is talented at driving the ball, I mean, and putting the defense in a tough spot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. I love watching Griffin play the game. I mean, he has a lot of confidence in his abilities. He's terrific at staying aggressive. Lure is checked in for Detroit. And then for Milwaukee, Gasol comes in for Brooke Lopez. And Middleton subbed in for Tony Snell. He makes one of two that time. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Outside Hill. Back to Middleton. And Griffin sends it back. Oh, you want more of this from Griffin. There's no question he has the size and vertical to block shots. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Now here's Lure. He has five. Robinson dishes to Lure. Back to Robinson. For three, Ellington. A rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Middleton outside. Pass to Connaughton for the lead. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got four assists in the game. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Now here's Griffin. He's got seven. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. I mean, you better give Griffin credit. He's outstanding at forcing the issue. Getting the defense to whack him. Two shots. That's good from Blake Griffin. Detroit making a switch here. Kennard's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Bledsoe's checked in. Both good from the line that time. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Middleton looking it over. Griffin on the double team. From deep three-point range, Ellington grabs the miss. Detroit's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. A floater. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Pistons lead by two. Oh, the floater's a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. The Bucks shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. Bloodsoe outside. Back to Middleton. And good that time. Middleton's got 23 points. And look, he's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. Ellington kicks to Griffin. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. He's gone three for four from the line. Three 
shooting two. He misses the free throw. Jackson, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. And the second free throw, good. The Bucks trail. If they increase the tempo, they got a chance at a two for one. Yeah, it's a combination of urgency and efficiency. Let's, let's see how they execute. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to Gasol. And so the ball's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Oh, that's a brutal giveaway. A pass to no man's land. And well, Detroit shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Jackson against Bloodsoe. Now Jackson. Three seconds left. Griffin misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. The Pistons on top. They lead by one. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And from the most recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Dwayne Casey. We got to get back to play with a sense of urgency. Pass goes. We got to move with the pass. It doesn't matter. We got to scramble. Well, stressing defense that last time out, Greg, a wise approach. Yeah, I mean, when it's this tight, the defense can push you over the top. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. They've got Jackson. John Luer is out there with Pachulia. Then there's Griffin, and it's Kennard in at the two. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Middleton, and it falls over the rim and in. Middleton's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bucks. Jackson kicks to Kennard. Out to the right wing. Lure can't hit. Milwaukee in the lead. In the corner, it's Brogdon. No good on the three. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Here's Kennard. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. Then Robinson, the third, is checked in for the Pistons. And so he makes both from the line. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Anadokounmpo kicks to Bledsoe. Back to Anadokounmpo. Up and in on the layup. Anadokounmpo's got 22. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Now here's Jackson. Outside Robinson. 
Here's Kennard. Defended by Middleton. Four on the clock. Here's Robinson. Rebounded by the Bucks. On to Dekumbo's. Got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Middleton against Lure. That's tipped. Here's Kennard. To the inside. And the basket by Jackson. He's got 20. Oh, well, come on, Kevin. You have to really admire Jackson's patience on offense, just feeling the defense out and nailing quality shots. Lure against Andacumbo. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And the first one drops. Detroit making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. And he makes both free throws. The Pistons have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Jackson has doubled. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Just five to shoot. From deep. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. And it's Lure with the rebound. Lure's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Kennard. He's guarded by Brogdon. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Kumbo. Middleton inside the three-point line. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Pistons trailing. Outside Robinson. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Griffin's checked in for Lure. The Bucs also with the sub. Rook Lopez is checked in for Pau Gasol. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Kennard. But they'll get another chance. Lobbed up there for Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Now, the energy Drummond has on the glass is it, really ridiculous. He's a, he's a spark plug, a real spark plug. For Milwaukee, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Bloodsoe outside. Shoots over Griffin. Shots good by Bloodsoe. And the Bucks lead by one. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Now here's Jackson. And there's the pass to Drummond. Here's Griffin. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Wow. Wasted possession. Thanks to what should have been a simple pass. The 
the Pistons have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. On the wing, Jackson, guarded by Bloodsoe, and the foul on Eric Bloodsoe. That is his first foul of the game. And Detroit has possession. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. As off the mark as he has been, they're a little lucky to be in front. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. Bledsoe finds Middleton. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. And that's now 27 points for Chris Middleton. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Driven shot is good. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Now here's Antetokounmpo and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. Jackson kicks to Griffin. Back to Jackson. There's the three. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Jackson. 17 points for Blake Griffin. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Antetokounmpo against Griffin. Down it goes. Nice one there from Anadokounmpo. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot time game out, out. and looking to keep it rolling. Yeah, but here's the problem. They play team ball. So if you pay him too much attention, that just leaves other guys open and it's too difficult of an adjustment to make. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game Chris Middleton. And Kevin it's a no brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team he said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Thank you, David. Now, here's Brogdon following the miss by Griffin. Bloodsoe outside. In the corner, Middleton with it. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Drummond's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Kennard. He's guarded by Brogdon. It's stolen by to Takumbo. And now in transition is Bledsoe. Here we go. That three off the mark. Detroit's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Robinson passes to Griffin. Outside Jackson. Back to Griffin. Drummond. Rebound Milwaukee. And here is Brogdon. Bloodsoe dishes to Antetokounmpo. Takes it down to Middleton. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Look, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where do they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. Here is Bloodsoe. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Lopez with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. Bounce pass Middleton. Brogdon misses off the left iron. The movement and the shot selection are good there, but you can't hit them all. Robinson for three. The shot, no good. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by two. Shots good by Bloodsoe. And, well, Detroit shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter. The offense looking a little rickety. Count that one. And it's now 22 points for Andre Drummond. And Drummond is so ridiculously strong inside, just simply overpowering the D in the post. Timeout called the Bucks. One of the stories here, Reggie Jackson getting it done today. Oh, he's tearing them to shreds. And I'm sure the only thing they're talking about in this timeout is what to do about him.
and stolen by Drummond. Kennard kicks to Jackson. Only the one made basket in the fourth. He hasn't provided them with a whole lot offensively. Bucks trail by four. Adetokounmpo with the ball. And the slam dunk by Adetokounmpo. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. And that's a play they'll run over and over, fellas, as long as it keeps working. Here's Jackson. Giannis Antetokounmpo making his last shot. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Jumps up, and Bloodsoe with the stuff. And, and Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct, Gray, to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. That is a game changer, guys. A four-point swing at the biggest point of the ball game. So it's Detroit now after the basket by Milwaukee. And it's Robinson that time on the assist by Griffin. Robinson's got 12 points here in the second half. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. The shot from the low post is good. On to Dekumbo's got the game tied up here for Milwaukee. Uh, they get exactly the matchup they want inside. I mean, and it gives them the biggest bucket of the game. Jackson kicks to Griffin. Passes to Kennard. Off target with his three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. To the middle. Jackson against Bloodsoe. Here's onto Takumbo. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Jackson has the open look. Offline with his three. Oh, man, you can't get much better look from three-point range than that one. That just wasn't in rhythm. Shots good by Bloodsoe. And no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Pistons trail by three. Jackson kicks to Griffin. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Uh, he's a minute close to the rim. When Griffin gets the ball uh, and in the position he wants, you got to whack him. Shooting free throws. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. Yeah, being down two points instead of one, thanks to the free throw miss, makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. Here's on to Takumbo. Detroit with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Milwaukee is getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. <laughs> is it me or does it just feel like he gets every rebound that comes up? No, Greg, it's not just you. I mean, it's the stat line, too. Look at what he's doing. A dominant night on the glass. Lopez, no luck. Four on three break. Robinson for three. Robinson can't get that one to fall. A big-time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going 100 miles an hour right now. Good! Well, guys out, separate out. themselves by how they perform in clutch Party. situations. Give this man his props. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're down by four. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Griffin. Pass to Kennard. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. 
Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. And so they choose to intentionally foul. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. A good league is even better with excellent work at the strike. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 18 seconds left in the game. Outside Jackson, dishes it to Robinson. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion second free throw no good that time he really wanted that one to the wing right side Kennard shot is off so a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You could see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much for Paul Gasol. Hard fought win. How did you win this one? By not giving up. By uh, understanding that we needed to pick up our intensity. We didn't give up. We, we got down our, uh, a couple times in the, during the game, but uh, I think we were just resilient tonight, and that was, uh, that's important. Mark of a championship team. Thanks, pal. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.